Hello, hello. Happy Saturday. Um, I'm excited to start off 2024 with some lives that will teach you something, share something with you. Hope you're excited too to do some education and learn um, with my one stroke technique. So this is the Donna Dewberry channel and I am sharing all kinds of, we have a membership club where you can learn lessons. I teach you how to do painting to make oversized or regular size canvases. And we paint on glass, fabric, metal, many, many things. And so I'm just coming on during the month and doing lives. I've always done them on YouTube. And so now I brought it over here so we have a better reception. And I've been sharing some resin, resin painting on a glitter, resin tops, uh, tabletops this last week. And so I started posting some of those and we've got the whole resin lesson coming up. So we'll be putting that up. So be watching. And then today, uh, like most of my other YouTube lives, I share some sales. So I'm just seeing if that, yeah, there you go. So this sale till uh, the 15th and is going to be $10 off any $50 order that you do. Okay. Right on my website. So let me show you that real quick. The website is one stroke.com. Oh, Peter, one stroke.com. And it is nine. How do you say that? Nine zero one two four. 90124. All right. Hello, Miss Debbie and Susan and Pamela. Hello, hello. Uh, Cheryl and Laura. It's nice to have you guys come on. Happy New Year's from Guatemala. Awesome. Um, and Barbara and Cecile. Hello, hello. Cecile's in Canada and Miss Doris and Belva. Gel Belva's in Canada. And I think Joanna. She's from Nova Scotia. Hello, Harriet. It's nice to see you guys on. And let me tell you, uh, I'm actually in Florida. Wow. Um, have to get to my uh, your store. Hey, listen, I'm usually not at the store every day, but I'm going to be at the store every day but Wednesday this week, I think. So try it out. You can call and ask Amanda if I'm there. Um I am doing private lessons with George. And on Tuesday, you could come get a free lesson at our um, campers class there. All right. Hello, Francis, Linda. Oh, you guys are so great. Gilbert, Kat. Hello, Miss Kat and Christy and Melissa, Vicki and Joy. Hey, listen, I'm going to go ahead and start because some people um, don't understand. I have a lot of buddies out here. Hello, Miss Barbara from Connecticut. I love having you guys on. I'm always passionate about trying to teach you something when I'm here on the live. And this is where I just create something on the go as we're talking. Actually, if you haven't signed up for my mystery classes yet before, I had uh, one for the November, one for December and February before Valentine's Day, I'm doing one. So um, it's a good thing to do something for ourselves sometimes too. So check it out. And all of those things, if you want to find out where I'm at, the lessons I teach besides YouTube, YouTube, you can always right here on my channel, uh, scan down and see what I'm teaching next and what's coming up and what has just been on. And they're right there. So you can go watch them over and over. And by the way, if you join the membership, you can also join to get all my step outs, like you can print them off and the patterns to do everything I'm doing with you. All right. But if you want to find out all the other stuff and print out a calendar, what I'm doing for the month, check out um, our Donna Dewberry's official one stroke group. No. Yes. On Facebook. <laughs> Donna Dewberry's official one stroke group on Facebook and is actually listed here about Donna on this channel. So check that out. Thank you for being on today. Um, we are going to, yes, give me thumbs up if you like. That tells you uh, YouTube that there's something going on that you'd like to, to see and that you were happy. It's snowing in PA. I've got a lot of Florida grandkids that want to see snow so bad. All right. So hello, hello, guys. And here we go. This is the sale for today. You put in 90124 on onestroke.com. And anything that you want to go order, you can get for 
$10 off on a $50 order. All right. So hello, Barbara. Now I've been really busy, but I just want to jump in and let's just start painting something together and we can visit. You can ask me questions at hello, Lee. Thanks for being on and De uh, Della. Yeah. Hello guys. So I'm going to flip the camera down and since I'm the camera person, the lighting and the sound, all right, I have to then take and do, let me come up so you can see everything. I don't want to see me, but I got to flip it. And so we are going to take, and let me pull this up. So I have to do all my stuff myself. So that's okay. There we are. Now I'm going to straighten this up and I'm hoping I'm right-handed. Let's see. Am I right-handed there? You guys tell me. And that helps me where I can do this for you guys. And I'm waiting for somebody to say, no, I'm not right-handed. Okay, Gilbert, I'm backwards. So that's easy to flip. There you go. Now I'm right-handed. All right. So does this mean this is right? That's right. Y'all can see it. It's not backwards. Okay. Sounds good. So I am ready. I've got Bristol board. I don't know. I paint a lot of canvases. Sometimes on here, I do a lot of paper, art paper. And this is the Bristol smooth Bristol board. And this is 11 by 14. And so it's a hundred pound. That's what I want to share with you. And it's smooth and it's easy to paint on. And so I'm going to use my double loader. Going to Love Bristol board. I know it makes it nice. And you could put a finish on it too because it's thick, guys. All right. So I've got my paint out in my double loader. I use this on practice strokes every week. Um, we're doing painting, trying to do one stroke, working on one stroke, not trying. And this is helping you blend and control loading your brush. Most of difficult thing for people to learn when they're doing one stroke, but this makes it really easy. Second thing I wanted to share with you is I do a relax and paint every Wednesday and I'm going to move this out of the way for me. Okay. And so, and then practice strokes is on Friday. So I'm teaching you new technique if you're brand new and you want to learn more. Okay. So um, this is the lid that goes on here. This is called a double loader. Now I do have palettes. People have ordered my basins and my palettes. I just want to show you the difference. This is a palette and this palette, let me get a foam plate. This palette, um, puts a plate, a paper or fo uh, foam plate. Cause some people don't have foam anymore, uh, in their state, but so you put a paper plate in here. All right. So, and you put paper towel in here so that you can put water in here, so floating medium, or you can work on here. All right. So I do this too. I'll show you. But when people are ordering, my daughter is saying there's a little bit of a problem. I keep trying to get higher. I know it's a little messy, but you can see um, what's going to happen. There we go. Is that um, this is a palette, but it's really a double loading palette. OK, there's a lid that covers this. If I have to run out as soon as I do my paint or I did my paint 30 minutes earlier, I can put this there. I pop the lid on it right here. And you want to hear that crack that it goes pops on. You dampen this and see the holes. You lay that there and you lay this lid on top. So it's a double loader and it saves your paint between classes. OK, cold and wet pad. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, so that's a double loader. This is your brush basin. These are my tools. These are like, you feel like a real artist by the time you get your tools. So this is one tool. This comes out, a foam or paper plate comes out, and this goes under and under one notch down there and spins. Okay, so, but you can't put the lid on here while you're in here. So I kind of clean that out. Okay, so that's my tools. And I'll show you some brushes later that I use. And I like to show you just so you know why you see me using something. You're going, what is that? Okay, so. All right, the first thing we're going to do is we are going to put a background in here. All right, so now I, I do a couple of things. I have these painter sponges. All right, and there's two different size ones. And you can make bricks with this one. You can push and pull 
I make bricks. I've done a whole wall of bricks really quick with this. Wet and cold here. Oh my gosh, I feel bad, guys. So I'm putting my fingers in water, dampening this just a little bit. And then I'm going to decide what kind of color I want in the background. All right. So let's put a little bit of purple and white. Now, what I want you to see, let's get a little bit of medium. We've got water in here already, though. All right. So I'm going to show you that we are going to make it darker right here in the middle. See how the sponge is going around? This part of the sponge is blending it in here. All right. I didn't put a lot of water in this sponge because I don't want to do that. I want to, right now I'm looking for some shading. Okay. Okay, there we go. Uh, Marlene practice strokes is pre-recorded. Yeah, so you can just get on there and watch them anytime. That's the good thing about it. So I've started with this. So my sponge, I can go on canvas really quick, get backgrounds. Canvas is textured. So I, I do circles like this to get into the fabric. And so these are really uh, wonderful because they do a thin coat. If you have a paintbrush and you're doing this, it's a thicker coat and you have to wait longer for it to dry. So I'm going to fold this up for now because I'm going to use my mob brush. Uh, well, thank you. Uh, I like that you think it looks pretty uh, already. So these are two brushes I sell together. This is a mop brush, a larger mop brush and a small mop brush. So I do watercolor backgrounds with these. And I also uh, do stippling with these to do different kinds of foliage and stuff. My one thing that I use, um, been using forever, is my scruffy brushes. They come in three sizes. And that's for foliage and all also. But I made some beautiful trees with these. All right. So what I want you to see with this, most mop brushes I ever use, I didn't wet. But these were going to wet. And I'm going to show you that I can put, let's put a little bit of citrus and sap in here. All right. Now, what I want to show you is we're going to get a different look here. All right. Now, I'm going to come in here with water and I'm going to let it drip. Oops, this came off. So that's good. All right. So I can spray this with water or I can just drip this. I like having this drippy effect. Okay. I'm just doing a background for some pretty flowers. All right. Water. Tap it. Okay. I'm going to run, let that run down. Okay. See the purple sucked up into the water. I mean, into the paper. So it's not having anything happen there. So I think this is going to give us a cool look. And I just do nice backgrounds with this that gives you a cool watercolor look. All right. So what I'm going to do, I usually, if I'm doing this um, on um, my desk or counter or whatever, my table, I take and put a paper towel down there. And another way I can work on this is you can blow a blow dryer or the heat pen and you can run the, run the colors. Look. Well, they're already been down there for a few minutes, so they're not moving much. All right. So I'm drying this up a little bit. I like that this is quiet. From cold Charlotte, North Carolina, on my way to New York City, which is going to be colder there. <laughs> you come up with the coolest ways to do that. Now, I love backgrounds. I hope you're seeing that. Uh, like doing the Highland Cast into the sea. Oh, yes, I did the drips off of the Highland Cow with you guys. You're right. Uh, you like it already, Cat? Well, thank you for being on today, Miss Cat. Hello, Lorraine. How much better is the heat pen than just a blow dryer? Oh, you know what? This is wonderful because it does glass. And see, it heats it really quick in one spot. So I can work on one spot 
and then come and put another one on. I also love it for when I need to do metallics all in one area. You can control where you've got it and you can also do on your glass that you're painting and, and it, it heats up better on the glass than a blow dryer. I've enjoyed it a lot. And also for me, it's quiet when I'm trying to talk to you guys. With a blow dryer, I've got to totally turn you off and be able to do that. All right. So you can tape your paper down, but I usually don't because I like to, a lot of people say, can you turn your art? So I just want you to know, um, hello, Miss Denise, that you can turn your art. Now, this is dry enough. You can see the shine's gone. And what, and so it's dry, plenty dry for us. I love the heat pen. I'm glad you like that, Miss Belva. It's nice to see what you guys are doing with it, too. All right. So one thing I'm going to do next is I can take this mop brush also. And I want some dark. You have to see dark to see light. Okay. So I am underneath where I'm going to do some flowers. I'm going to put it a little bit darker in here in some areas. Okay. It's just like a little brush type mark in the background. All right. Now, when I'm brush cleaning this mop brush, I pull it one direction. And then I'm coming right here and I'm pushing the water out and make sure that it's a nice finish. Because I have literally painted leaves with this edge when I'm getting that watercolor effect I want. All right. So we got stencil brushes and my regular brushes. So I'm going to be showing you those. All right. So let's go on here one more time. Uh, for everybody who's new that's on, this is a, a Donna Dewberry channel on YouTube um, live, live. And here is the sale that I got for the 15th. And it is, um, hopefully you can see this. OneStroke.com is my website with everything on it. You put in, when you're checking out to get your code, you have to hit 90124 and hit apply. All right. I don't know if it's apply or enter, whichever. And you get $10 off of $50, any $50 order. Okay. So, all right. I'm going to, that's going to dry a little bit. I just don't want to put my big flowers on super, super wet. Um, because usually I do wet on wet, which is a nice thing. All right. So I can add some, uh, leaves and little flowers on it afterwards. So let's see what's going to happen here. All right. Hey, Amani, the heat pen is a game changer. I am a, uh, I am a convert, um, patient. Oh, you're an impatient painter. I know. Thumbs up everybody. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So. This is what we're going to do. I want you to see, I'm going to come here and I'm going to pick up paint. Let me do it right up here. I'm going to dampen brush, lay it on the paper towel to get the excess water out. I'm going to split the brush with how much of each color I want. Then I'm going to come right here and I'm going to go fast, fast and lots of pressure because I want it I want that movement to work it into the center of the brush. All right. Now this, you can see there's a lot of water still there. So I'm going to come right here and lay it here and watch the water run out of this. Okay. All right. Now I just go back here and we're going to come pick up paint every time we need some. Okay. Well, I want to put a little bit of magenta on the pink melon. So wicker white, pink melon, and the, let me tell you, the key to my technique is the paint I use. So I'm using, and we have kits, all kinds of kits of paint, all right? So look on my site for kits, beginner kits, paint kits, and uh, just paint, all right? So this is Folk Art Multi-Surface. It's got usually a cap like that on top, which means it goes metal, glass, ceramic, indoors, outdoors, has a sealer inside. It's a satin acrylic paint when, when you, you're using it. So usually it won't have it here because we're on paper, but usually it has a sheen. All right. And that's really nice. Okay. All right. Now, what I want you to see is I'm going to come in here and... 
I'm going to do a fun rose. All right, so let's get a little closer because I wanted you to be up at first. All right, now I'm gonna. I, if I need more paint, I can touch right there and flatten it. All right, I don't need medium right now because I have so much paint on here. All right, work it in. All right, now I'm coming here and I want to just tip the white. See this? Oh, can you see that second layer? It's really important that you see the second layer. Okay, now I'm going to come pick up white on the tip and I'm going to come right around here, right around here to get this nice pretty size of this flower. Okay, now I'm going to put a little bit more magenta. All right, so we're going to pick up white and work it in. All right, dip white, flatten it, and now we're going to come right in here again. Okay, now I'm going to work a teeny bit of yellow in here too. You want that yellow to come up there. So pink, melon, and magenta. All right. So the center of this flower is going to have a really pretty yellow. All right. Now let's come in here again. Dip a white. All right. Now a little bit more white. Flatten it. So you pick it up and you flatten it. All right. So now I'm going to come in front. See how that went in front? All right, so there's the center inside here of the flower. Isn't that kind of fun? This is acrylic paint. You get these beautiful looks by just filling in, um, adding enough paint. This is a three quarter inch brush. Now, when you get these brushes, this is the value pack. That's the best um value that we have is the 10 most used on the Dewberry brushes so you do all kinds of sizes look from this big brush to a two smaller and smaller because i do a lot of work with flat brushes all right hey lucy and cheryl and Romilda. hello hello all right so i'm going to pick up i'm going to work this in and then i'm going to start coming around so i'm going to come this way Get some more white over here, this way. See, I line that up there and I'm sliding it across. So you saw, I'm gonna do a second one with another color and you're gonna be able to see again, I'm gonna watch this later and do it with me. Do the chop, chop, chop marks on here to get that look. All right, so. I'm going to pick up a little bit more white and I'm going to come right down here. See that? I'm going to touch and pull the white. Let's do another little mark right there and then do the white. All right. Push down and come across. I could be up on the chisel of the brush. The chisel's right here on the brush. This is a learn to paint technique that the masses can learn to paint. Even if you never thought you were an artist, I can by multi-loading the brush as you load it, you can get this beautiful blended look. Okay. Let's come around here. All right. So you see how that color shows through and you get the pretty blending. Hello. Yes, the background makes it really pretty. All right. And hello. Hello, newbies. Thanks for coming on. All right, so I'm going to wash this out. And I think I was going to do a white flower, but I want a little teeny bit of purple in it. So, so I'm going to, instead of splitting it half and half like I did here, I'm going to have mostly white. So three-fourths white, one-fourth violet pansy. Fast, 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 pressure, pressure, work it in, work it in, inside the bristles, 
Then you got an odd bristle out there. All right, then I'm going to come here and pick it up again. Now this time I'm just getting the top of the bristles on top of there uh, smooth. So I'm not putting a lot of pressure now. All right, now I haven't used the medium a lot because we're on paper and it absorbs pretty good. But when you're on non-porous, well, paper I usually do, I'm sorry, paper I usually do use um, floating medium, but I haven't had to yet. So we are just coming in here and patting around. Okay, so let's come around here. Okay, and it's just going to be a tinge of um, the purple in here because what I want to do is come right around here. See how I'm sliding it across? And then I can come right in here with a lot of white. Oops, you guys are not seeing me do that. Okay, I'm picking up a lot of white here. And then when I come over here in my double loader, I'll just be grabbing white. Okay, so right in here, I'm gonna have a few petals that just slice in here. White comes in here. There you go. All right, so that's the shape we're going to get. I need to practice those chop chop strokes. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I'm going to come up here a little bit more too. See? Flat, 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 and pull down. Flat, 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 and pull down. Okay. All right, and you have to see dark to see light. So that's one of the things that I'm trying to show you in here. All right, so I'm going to pick a little bit of pink with the purple. And that actually gives you a color called Juneberry that I do sell. So you could just get Juneberry and get that color. All right, so what's going to happen is white, lots of white there. You see a layer there? That's what I want you to see. Now, what I need to do, let me go over this again because I want to show you what we're doing to make it right. I need to have the lavender up there so you can then put the white and it shows. Okay, so you have to have the lavender go up. Then I'm going to come in here and then... I put white, and you can see the layers then, right? All right, and there go. <laughs> Thank you, Vicky. All right, I'm sorry, Ramalda. It might be because of weather where you are. Our weather's real good here right now. Okay, so you can work in any other color into the center that you want. Um, I just want you to see chop, flat. Flat, flat, flat. Okay, so it's chop, 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 chop. And I say that because they're little short, choppy strokes. All right, so then look what happens here. I'm sliding down, chop, chop. And slide down on that side. See, so I just need to make the top in there. Amani and <laughs> Alani and the paintbrush. <laughs> well, she wouldn't hold it with her right hand. And when she grabbed, she got super grip on that left hand. And her Gigi is left-handed. And that just made Manda's day. <laughs> George says, we want her to be an artist. <laughs> put, put it in her hand. I'm like, oh, okay. Thank you guys for watching our Facebook. They keep having more and more rules, making it very hard for us, but we are not giving up. 
I'm now the activity coordinator for the local commission on aging. I really enjoy trying this. Oh, this would be fun because even if it's not perfect and they just do a bud, I have to show you a bud because um, it's just really way easier than doing the whole rows. Okay. And you're not trying to make this exact. You're doing a real rustic. Oops, let me get this back up here. All right. I have a great senior group that we have a coordinator that just loves one stroke. And I, they always ask for me and she loves to put it together. All right. So see how I introduced different colors. I introduced a little bit of yellow there. All right. Thank you. Now, look, thank you for the compliments. I appreciate that. Oops, I'm coming all over the place. So I have some drippy in the background. I just thought it would make it look pretty. Now, what I'm not thrilled about here is I want it not to be so flat there in the front. All right. So you can always go back and touch it up. All right. And then later... I give a little teeny dots in here with the corner. And I give a little bit of yellow. A little bit of yellow here. Or you can put little bits of green. All right, there. So thank you. Thank you, Miss Jeannie. Yeah, we have rain this morning. So these are fun. So try it. Okay. So now I'm going to come over here and put a bud that's got some of this pink and purple in it. Um, Melissa, to show you. Look, so if you come here and they just pull chop, 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 chop chop and pull okay then I keep flattening it out then I do another little choppy thing here and the side to the side then I'm going to slide here and then in front you go one two three all right I should have got close for you on that can you see that and so it's they don't have to do chisel so i'm on the chisel and i slide over they don't have to make the uh, complete shell stroke they're just coming in here and this is just like a daisy which we're going to do some daisies okay and we can put a few little dots with the corner of the brush or i have this kiss tool that i use a lot all right so the kiss tool looks like a candy kiss and when you look on my site for this it's called a wipe away tool because uh, you're going to get a two piece set or you can just get the one kiss looking tool. But what happens is if you're in glass or anything and you want to wipe off something that dropped or if you want to dot little centers, it's got a rubber tip and it's better than a pencil or anything else that you might use. Okay. It's called um, a wipe away tool, but you'll hear me call it a kiss tool. All right. So there's a little bud. Good morning from Arizona. Well, I'm glad you joined us. So I just want you to see, guys. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to my 16 flat. Now this 16 isn't in the set. It's, this brush is one that you have to buy separately, but they're very inexpensive, okay? This set has got 10 brushes, two scruffies, two different size liners, and one, two, so that's one, two, three, four, all right, and six flats, <laughs> okay? I should have counted that once before in my life, right? All right, these are, those are the good ones and the super value less than $20. And so then if you put a little bit more with it, you'll get $10. So for every 50, you get $10 off right now. Uh, this is the, um, my signature brushes. 
These are the best brushes I make. They have a better ferrule, better bristles, and better handles. All right, but what we have here are my 13 most used brushes. So this one, where you don't get in the other one, you get an extra scruffy, the, the, um, the 16 scruffy or the quarter, half, and three quarter, yeah. Then this has a round angle filbert rake and fan brush. So all those you have to buy with different ones. All right. And for anybody who wants to do oversized painting, I had a lot of people ask me, I want to get the A to Z kit. So see, you get $10 off the A to Z kit if you order it before the 15th. And these brushes are long handle. These are, uh, I don't know if it says it by the number there. These are going to be very long handle brushes. And the big painting behind me, the oversized do you sell the KISS tool in Canada? Uh, it's on my website, honey. I didn't create that tool, so we purchased it. It's on my website, and we ship to Canada. All right, send the rain from Florida to the snow in Texas. Okay. A uh, lot of the long handles. So see how big this brush is? It's a high-quality two-inch brush. Look at this. All right, it is amazing. And so anybody who's wanting to do the large painting... Um, is this has got and you could look, it's the only one with long black hand, long handle brushes. Comes with a set of five, I think it's $29.95. And you add anything else with that, and you get it for ten dollars. You would love it, yeah. The A to Z is um in stock right now. We ran out all during the holidays, but it's totally in stock. In stock. We shipped out like eight of them yesterday, so go check it out. All right. <clears throat> So, but you're bamming me with questions. I've tried to paint too. <laughs> Sorry. Um, a to Z kit. Yeah, I'll show you. I think I have it right here. Yeah, I'll show you the A to Z in a few minutes. But let's get this painting done. So what we're going to do is we're going to go get citrus. See, I'm going to split this. Two-thirds citrus, one-third thicket. All right. I didn't use a sap, but it looks pretty dark. All right. Now... What I want to do is I want to pick up some teal and get some aqua in there. And then I can pick up a little bit of white. So you get some light on this dark. All right, now I want to show you. We're going to chisel, chisel, chisel. All right. Now I'm just going to come around here. I'm going to have some come up on the bottom. So see all the pretty colors I got in there? Now we can come here, here. Now, keep coming in here, and oh, that needs to stay up there. So all the tools I use make painting easier for you. When I'm always on the shopping channel, the tools, I was a tool queen. <laughs> People loved when they're trying to learn the technique to have the proper tools so they get better looks. And you can't use a craft brush and get nice... Um, nice strokes because we need a nice thin chisel right here with my technique. My brush is also spring. So if I push, instead of the brush staying bent, if you have a cheaper brush, these are inexpensive, but they're not craft brushes. If I push down, all I do is lift as I pull, it springs up. So it makes it really nice for you. All right. So let's say, let's pick up aqua and a little bit more white so white and aqua teal this is teal sorry all right so we have some lighter colors so let's put some pink with that see so so i have some lighter tones with the magenta and the green with some white you're getting nice colors in there see that All right, so love this. Well, Kat, I love what you do. Vicki, I would love to send you or so <laughs> in the past 20 years and still love them. Oh, thank you, Cecile. All right, now, what am I? Oh, um, you can also come in here with a little bit of citrus and lavender. Look at this and get some purples in here. All right. 
and I'm using the 16. Think about all the little brushes you can use. We got lots of little brushes and put little teeny strokes that are just lavender. You like the colors I'm using here? All right, so. So one thing design wise I wanna show you is that we can come in here and watch this. I'm gonna have one at the point, one here and one here. And then all you do is you pull the stems into these with the chisel of the brush. All right. So what I'm going to do now is come in with a few smaller, smaller uh, trailing strokes in here. All right. And I'm going to do some daisies in here. All right. And then if we have time, I'm going to throw in a butterfly. Okay. So... I'm going to go down and let's see what I've got here. 10. Here's a 10 flat. All right. And so what we're going to do is I want to just pick up. I wet it. I put it on the paper towel and I'm just picking up white. And so when you pick up a color, don't go in the middle like that. I've been correcting somebody all week who's taking certs. You're going to come from the outside and stroke it. Okay, and so what I'm going to do is let's look at a daisy here. So I want to push down and pull and I'm going to pull it all to where the center is going to be. Okay, now, you know how we did these strokes to the side. So here's a side one. Here's a side one. Now, this is what I want to do. I want to do one two. see how it's sideways. So it's just looking shorter. Actually, that would look better like that. So that's going to be tilted down. Can you see that? And let me show you how to do a regular daisy right here. We're going to go by the clock. 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock. All right. Now, you might scruffy a center or dot a center. So if you make this too small and then you scruffy in there, you're going to see short little petals. And so... Make sure your petals are long enough that as you pull in, I want you to see that we're pushing pressure, lift, pressure, lift, pressure, lift. And so this is going to be a full daisy right there. And when I come in here, let's do here one more. Pull it, pull it. And I want to see light in the middle. So this is what I want you to see. And between here, I can do... One, two, or I can push harder and make these fat petals and then just put one in the middle. Can you see that? So and then here, I'm going to kind of make it shorter. So then it looks tilted again. Okay. All right. Now, oh, <laughs> Thank you, Miss Jan. You amaze me all the time. Okay, so look at this. I have a triangle. One, two, three. Triangle could be small, medium, and large, or all three large. Now, this is a bad design going straight down, but I'm not through. Okay, so to do this, I need a triangle. So I can come right here and do a bud. And so I've got a triangle. I can come up here and then pull some short little guys here. Do a side, side, and then little short ones in front. Okay. Instead of just a perfect round one. So also you can look one, two, three. You can also use this guy, that guy, and that guy as a triangle. All right. And then up here, I'm going to just take and pull. And make little side view of a daisy. Okay. So there's your triangle again. You see it? Share the lesson to your page so others can see and try this. Thank you, Lucy. Thank you. Hello, Athena. All right. So if you share this, then you help spread the word that we... I have to tell you, we're always looking for people who want to become teachers. A bunch of people that are on right now are my teachers. And 
they help people like you online or in person in your area. And if you call our offices or email us on the email that's on the site here, we uh, will, my daughter will get you teachers that are close to you, teachers that can cer certify you or the closest teacher to you. If, uh, having hands-on is wonderful, but isn't it wonderful that you can be in some other country and still paint with me? Uh, the purpose of the triangle is a design thing. All right, Della. So people always say, oh no, where do I put another leaf? Well, one thing I do is I take my fingers and I can go this way or this way and where to face a leaf. All right. So remember, if you were just on, I did one, two, three and did a triangle. So it just looks natural. So I don't know if you were looking, but the daisies were straight in a row. And so that doesn't look as pretty. You see that this tilts one way, and but this is a little bit higher, but I still have a triangle of design. And so you might not realize it. I did cake decorating or a few wedding cakes for my brothers and sisters weddings. And I took a course at Wilton and that's where I learned, oh, you've got to have a triangle of those roses and then add your daisies. Now I can have this trailing. I I always willing to learn and plan on working towards. Oh, all right, Cheryl. That's awesome. I'd love to see you get certified. Mountains. No, no snow mountains did have some. Okay. All right. So um, look, so we can just do buds. And they're trailing from over here. Okay. See how that trails out of it. <clears throat> and so I could have three hanging here, little teeny ones. See? Now, if I only did them in a straight row, see, by trailing them or having little fillers out there a little bit, that makes it nice. So I think I'm going to stop there so that I can do a butterfly. So I'm going to heat this up and... I'm going to show you. I've got different stencils. I'll show you. So be sure to use a discount. All right. Now this is a bigger area. And I'm not worried about just getting one thing dry. So as heat too, it's different than just a dry. Let's try to get a hundred. I'll keep adding things. <laughs> we'll keep adding, all right? See, I want that a little bit drier. It just speeds up everything. And it's so easy. It's got a grip for you to hold. All right, thumbs up, Kat. Thank you. I need two more people to hit a hundred. Let's hit a hundred today. 25 years. Hey, listen, sometimes mine are good and sometimes mine aren't. I have a bad painting day or a good painting day. And sometimes I have such deadlines I can't have a bad day. I've got to make it work. All right. So I want you to see here is like, see, I did a hydrangea on that side. A quick and easy. I have to uh, get going. We'll watch later. Thank you. All right. So this is the thing. I want you to see that this is a stencil. So you stencil the yellow, then you come back with white, and then you come back and you just stencil the black and look how, look at the detail. So it's quick and easy. So that's this one, uh, this stencil, if I touch, touch this by accident. And this is my be kind stencil. So be, you can put a B here instead of the word, and then you could do be humble and kind and different. I did kind and different type sets. And so you can operate those on. There's all kinds of things you can do. So I don't know if I want a big B there. 
or if I'm going to do, I have these two um, stencils that are created. This one has three sizes. We have one, two, and a half of it. Then all these are half sides, side views. And then, um, what do you call it? Dragonflies on here. I think I'm going to do a monarch. Uh, I've got all three sizes of a monarch. And then I also have a pretty side view right here. So let's put this butterfly right here. And <clears throat> so what I want to do is I have these killer stencil brushes. They're synthetic nylon. And oh, Carly, Carlene, you're in Florida. Awesome. So um, it's a set, 12, 16, and 20. And people can tell you on here, there is nothing you would like more than to have a stencil brush that doesn't get under your stencil. So you're going to love these. The big one I use to do large areas. And then I can control and I don't have to tape off or anything. I can just come right in here and lay this stencil, this butterfly. Let's see, how do I want that? Right there. All right. So I'm going to put some yellow. So I pick up. Can you see me over here? And then I rub it off. So I tapped on it. Just going to be on the tips. All right. And then I'm going to come right in here and fill in this yellow. Okay, so because I'm on this darker surface already, I'm going to tap this and I'm going to put white first. Let's do some white in here. Then my yellow will cover really easy. Because yellow is transparent, is a transparent color also. So I'm going to come here and do a little bit of yellow out here back and forth yellow now just remember we're going to put some white in some of those areas and i can also look at this i can pick up a little bit of pink and you can get an orangey color see a little teeny bit of magenta Okay, a little bit more in here. Okay, and the final, I'm going to rub this off, and I need some licorice. I want you to see that how fun this is because it makes it easy for any of you. Here's the code while I'm looking for my licorice. All right, and that's what you're going to put in when you check out to get $10 off. You doubt the color choices. So at the beginning, it's easy to follow my colors or any other colors that you see out there that you like. And then as you get more experienced, you can learn to love colors and make it the colors you want. So I also, you can go and join me on Pinterest, on the one stroke side on Pinterest. And I give you all, I've already done on your homework and I've gotten lots of great designs that you can follow by going there. Now see, I've got the body and the antennas, and then I'm just pulling this licorice into the, watch this, into the, the butterfly itself. And then I'm gonna come right here, and we'll do black along here. So you circle to the right, then circle to the left, and you'll get in all those grooves. So circle, circle, and then I'm going to come right along here and do the same thing. Okay. All right, so this is what I'm going to do. So I've got the shape of my butterfly in there, and you can stop right there, or you can come in here. Same thing with this brush as far as cleaning it. All right, so I'm going to come with a little bit of yellow and I'm going to pull that yellow across all those different cubbies that are left there. See that? Put the yellow there, a little bit of yellow in here, and I'm just using that tin flat again. I see how there's shading of black already right in the center of the body. All right. This is daffodil yellow. You can put orange also if you want. 
All right. Now I'm going to come in here with white and I'm going to see each one of these cubbies. We put a little bit of white and we have a really pretty monarch when we're done. See that? And the white just goes right in to where it's like having the pattern already there for you. And with anybody who's struggling with how to paint a butterfly and getting your sides to match each other. This is what people kept saying. I can't get that side to match the other side. This is something I am really stuck on. How do you have the guts to put a stents or other flowers over an already gorgeous flower? This is the thing. You have to properly load the brush before you touch it. And then you don't have to worry about it. Because what people do is they do a very bad job of stenciling. And having the right brushes make it possible for you to have a really clean step there. Now, this is the first time I've used this size right here. But look, I'm just going to come in here and bring it down. This is my two script liner. Look at this. It already has an antenna. That's perfect for you. All right. And then I just went over this body by accident. Okay. So I'm going to come down. There you go. My stencils and my brushes will really make you feel like a professional. I promise you. And I've made them for myself and for you guys. So it's an easier path to teach. Okay. And so this monarch has a little line coming down here. And then you're going to fill in this. Okay. So then if you have the shape and everything you need, then all you do is fill in the colors. So I like to do ombre colors inside. And then look what happens. Now I can come right along here where the lines are and then do the butterfly just like you, I was freehanding it. But now I've made it easy for you. So it gives you all the segments to make it look professional. All right. So then I'm going to come here. All right. I haven't done as many butterflies from my stencil to show you guys. So I've been working on that a lot on practice strokes. So you feel comfortable doing them. All right. So I'm going to come right around here. Jeez, I am shaking. <laughs> I try not to drink any caffeine so it doesn't. There we go. All right. So look. See. See how that gives you depth? Look how pretty that's turning out. All right. And the same thing over here. So we've gone up there. And we're going to come right along here and then on the i'm going to match remember butterflies you're going to match side to side and then right in here we come to a point and remember that this is going to fill in here and we get that all right Thank you. We got 102 people. Yay. All right. So look, I'm going to come right in here. Now, what, what I want you to see is that when we have a pattern, it's like I've traced it on, but you saw how quick we stenciled it on. So you can stencil on your pattern quickly by using my design stencils. And I have all kinds of design stencils, so you have to go check them out when you get a chance. All right. So look at this. I can also come in with white and put a white dot at the end of each one of those. Or we can um, put a dot in here. So these are dip dots. And you just match it from side to side. Oh, I didn't put black around that. You can also, let me put black around here. Make sure you roll your liners so you get a nice line, okay? And I'm going to come right in here with some white. And we're just going to put a little bit there, 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 and the tail, all right? Now, this is, you saw me, this is a really quick little 
butterfly where I'm not taking a ton of time. But I want you to see that when you're done, you can get beautiful colors to make this pop on your piece. So we want that butterfly to cover that daisy underneath. All right, so what I want to show you with your daisies, the detail finish is the butterfly. Yeah, so the butterfly stencil is to give you, it's a lot of work. We did a lot of work to make it happen for you. It is to give you the different size monarchs and all the way to this little monarch here. And then look, then we have this one. All right, it has a couple sizes. All right, and then a side view. So... You just have to work on, get my shape, then color it in. Like I colored it in on top of here. Get your shape and then color in the segments with whatever color you want. So you could even stencil it all white, which I've done before, and do it that way. So then this is what we're going to do. We're going to come right here, and we can do little dots, little teeny dots. You can use the kiss tool for little dots too. The tool I was showing you earlier. All right. Or we can use our baby scruffy. Where is it? Our quarter inch scruffy. That's in all my brush sets. Okay. All right. So here it is. This is the go-to most popular brush set. And especially if you want to be painting your flower and you want to jump and do some leaves. I, I know it's a sales pitch, but it really is saves you paint is if you have a second set or you have your friends paint with you <laughs> all right and you have a second set there and when you can get a sale you can get two two sets and get ten dollars off was a super deal all right so now i want to come over here and i'm going to pounce with the yellow <clears throat> and i can put a teeny bit of white and so this brush is dry the scruffy brush I have many sets, many open, <laughs> many knots. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Lucy. All right, so you're going to pounce right here. And by having a little bit of white, you're giving it some light. See that? All right, so I want a little bit more yellow. Okay, right here. Okay, so you can put a little color. You can put a little green. All right. And the last thing I need is curly cues. So let's, I have a bunch of worn out script liners. I buy extra script liners so that I have them anytime I need them. All right. So what we want to do is make this inky. So I put, this is the only brush I use water. We put the floaty medium here. Um, and when we load our brush, we dip it in the floating medium, work it in, and then go paint. And that makes it not be dry. So what I want you to see is that I can pull these little buds in with right here. These little light ones down here. See how you want to connect them? But then I roll this in there again. All right, so we have curly cues and ten, they're called tendrils too. So you can do it just like that. If you're uncomfortable with the curls yet, all right. Okay, when you were asking, I forget it was Ann or whatever, if you were asking about, I'm nervous about putting my butterfly because there's a seal, sealer in the paint. If you totally let this dry and not on paper, if you're on a canvas or wood or glass and you totally let everything dry, super dry, not like I just did. And you stencil this on and it does not look good. You can take a wet rag and you can just wash it off right then. It won't take the rest of the paint off. It makes a really nice clean area so that you can go back <clears throat> and restroke it or say, no, I don't want that. Okay, so just think about that. Okay, so I'm going to come over here. Now I'm going to go one. Oh, you got to go quick, and I don't have enough paint. 
Okay, so see, it's really hard to go back over this and try to fix it. So I usually don't, but I'm dry there, so I needed to. All right, and you can also just come in here and put pressure and lift, pressure and lift, and do some little strokes like that. Okay, so what do you think? There you go. All righty, so I will see you next time. Go check out my website. Love you very much. Bye-bye.